We start the beginning of the school year by utilizing our digital scholastic manager, which helps us gauge a guided reading score for each student. We look at that data, we see where our students are, and we determine if there are students that maybe are exhibiting a little bit below grade level expectations at that point, whether they're right on track or whether they might be exhibiting above grade level expectations at that time. The title of this story. We take the time to analyze that data, see where each student is. We uh, will plan some guided reading groups, small groups, and put students together who are um, about the same level. And then at that point, we really, really are intentional about setting our procedures and expectations in place. We teach whole group lessons in modules, and then we uh, take that whole group lesson and the kids practice it at independent structures, and then they also practice it in the teacher table with me. When you teach them the different things from whole group to independent structures and to teacher table, they can really understand it and put it into practice and then you can still take those lessons and you can move them into science and social studies and just making those connections uh, help them become better readers overall. Students are able to sit with the teacher and feel supported as they take risks to read with the support of a teacher and then this enables them to move forward as independent readers. We're able to monitor their reading progress and then while we're listening to them read we notice errors and then we can offer immediate feedback. This way we are able to be responsive to each child's specific needs. iRead gave us our first set of results to look at to see how our teachers and students have been doing. And I think we were really pleasantly surprised with how well the kids ended up doing in the end. Our community members and principals and admin interns did a great job um, making sure that we got everybody in here who needed to test. In the end, we ended up with over a 98% participation rate for the test, which was great. Having all of the students actually show up and be able to show us what they're capable of doing really helped us understand where we are as a district and what we need to do to move forward. In the past, we would have a basal reader and everyone would have the same story. And if you weren't so good at it, you met at a teacher table. And if you were fine, then you just kind of hung out with the other kids and read it in buddies. But now we can find books at every child's level, bring them into the teacher table and really have that, that time with them. You just get to see all of the kids. This is how we're gonna reach every kid is pulling them into a teacher table and seeing if they understood my lessons for the week and seeing them put it into practice. And then I know that if they can do it here with me, they can do it at their independent structures time. Being able to see their excitement for what they do every day and their excitement for reading really is one of my favorite parts about my job. I like to talk about the books I love to read and share those with the kids. They get excited when I like some of their books. Harry Potter's a big one this year with my third graders and they love that I love Harry Potter. The students and the teachers have all worked so hard this year and they have made up a lot of ground. They have more than made up what a normal growth year is. When you look at research and growth amounts during a normal year, they have far surpassed that growth. We make sure to assess every child to see exactly where their strengths are, we see where their weaknesses are, and we use that to plan our instruction because we want to make sure that all of our kids get the good education that they need. And Franklin Township helps deliver that.